Hey guys, thank you so much for checking out Sean Spills again. I know it's been a while and I noticed just looking back at my channel that the video that was most engaging for y'all was uh, how I got into Princeton and Brown. But more than anything, I wanted to kind of give y'all just a summary of what school I actually chose. And here's something you really should know. I'm actually a sophomore now, but I finally decided I would tell you guys what school I go to just so I could to have more of an organized sense of what my channel is, vlog more about my daily life at SMU itself, and just how it is being a pre-med student day by day, but still trying to have a social life and just a life with friends in general. So here it goes. As you know, and as I've said, I chose SMU over Princeton, and here's why. So I have three big reasons on why I chose SMU, at least that resonated with me personally. Those three reasons are, Connections, curriculum, and opportunities. Connections are, SME is known for world changers, known for people just really plugging themselves into whatever it might be that they want to be. So they could plug themselves into classes and work hard in order to become something. They could plug themselves into extracurriculars or sororities or fraternities, just to have a sense of community or have an end goal of something they would really truly want. And as you can see for me, just with the notable people and the many famous alumni that actually went to SMU, that inspired me to hope to be a world changer myself and to leave a legacy. More so on the curriculum note of things, I knew I wanted to be a pre-med student, but not only a pre-med student who strived to pursue medicine and one day become a doctor, but more so I've always wanted to be an author, hopefully a young author, because right now I'm 19, but SMU has a liberal arts curriculum, a curriculum that allows me to combine both my love for writing and my love for science. And so more than anything, I wanted to not only take those hard but interesting classes like genetics and physics and ochem, but more so than anything, still pursue writing, creative writing, poetry, just different types of writing to challenge myself to be the best writer I can be. Not only to write my first book at such a young age, but more so to use my love and put it into these scripts and messages I have for you guys, my subscribers. And I hope that one day I can not only change the world in medicine, but also in writing, just because I love it so much. From authors who inspired me, it might be cliche, but I'm sure that you guys were fans of her too, J.K. Rowling, Suzanne Collins, just those authors who kind of fall under the magic slash dystopian fiction genre. And finally, I chose that to me for the social scene. I chose it just because I went to a very rigorous school in Dallas that pushed me so hard to be the very best I could, at least academically, but I thought I never got to um, just dive in and have my sense of social life or being super involved in extracurriculars. And for that reason, I knew SMU would be an outlet for me to just make friends who would have fun with me outside of the academic world, whether it be at an organization or even just um, a sorority fraternity event. I'm so grateful that SMU allows me to be with like-minded students who also push themselves and are very ambitious, but know how to have fun and just breathe and not worry as much. And overall, I'm just thankful for every piece of my life, every piece and step of my journey that got me to the point where I am. And I'm definitely here and willing to take any questions you might have in why I chose the school that I did. But also now I'm really happy and I hope I can show you more of my college adventures and journey. So stay tuned. Thank you guys. Gucci gang, 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 Gucci gang.